Okay, here I'm going to show you how you balance a blade, a mill blade. You need two little blocks, one on each side, exactly the same size, with two pins that are smooth, that's the same one on the other side. Put a shaft through it. And let me see, where are you looking at? She seems to be heavier on that end, because she's down on that end, eh? Now watch this. This is a little piece of paper. Not that big. I fold it in half. And watch what happens. She's coming down. So that means that blade on that side is just that much too heavy. So you just sand a little bit more. That's not big. But that's how close she is to balance. Now she's going back. So that's how you balance the windmill blade. This one is 12 feet long, 10 inches wide at the hub tapering to eight here and it's three inches thick that's carved out of a one piece of wood a three by ten twelve feet long and man that thing was a spinning but just that little bit out of balance was enough to uh, to cause some damage. Too much vibration, and uh, some of the braces were falling off the uh, the windmill stand. Again, here it goes. And you can balance that blade by putting paint on it. Usually, I have about a foot of red on the tip two coats on, one coat on each side is too much so you put another coat on the other end and uh, if you have to, just one side that's all you need, it's that critical and a 12 foot blade you don't need much being off to uh, cause vibration but that's pretty darn close well, that's the story on how you balance a blade